I am Rajni, an operations engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I am going to show you how to use AWS Backup to restore a resource from a recovery point and use related CTs in your AWS Managed Services account. Let's get started. AWS Managed Services creates all the required infrastructure in an account for AWS Backup Service. There are different change types provided to manage AWS Backup Service. I'll show you how these change types can be used in an AMS account. Log in to the AWS Management Console and then navigate to Manage Services. Select the RFCs from left side pane. Click on Create RFC. You can search the change type by name, choose from recently and frequently used change types or choose by category. Now let's see an example RFC for restoring an Amazon EBS volume from a backup. Choose category as deployment, subcategory as advanced stack component, item as EBS volume, and operation as create from backup. You can see the description about the change type and change type ID. Choose next. Enter a related subject for the RFC. You can provide an optional email notification and description. You can also schedule your RFC and choose next. Provide the AWS region where the Amazon EBS snapshot is located in the form of AP-Southeast-1. Provide the availability zone where you want to restore the Amazon EBS snapshot to in the form of AP-Southeast-1A. Provide the backup vault name. Note that the backup vault name is case sensitive. You can find the backup vault on the AWS Backup Service Console. Provide a recovery point ARN. You can find it from the list of backups on the AWS Backup Service Console Backup Vault page. Choose resource type as EBS under the backups and find the EBS volume in the list. Click on recovery point ID hyperlink and copy the recovery point ARN from backup summary page. On this page, you can fill additional configuration details pertaining to the service type. For an Amazon EBS volume, you can provide the IOPS, volume size, and volume type. Then click on Create. After you created the RFC, a restore job will be created in the AWS Backup Service. You can see an EBS volume is created as per this restore job. There are other change types to manage the AWS Backup Service component. You can find these by selecting category as management, subcategory as AWS backup, and operation relating to start stop a backup job, enable cross region backup copy, or delete a recovery point. For example, to create a new backup plan, you can choose category as deployment, subcategory as AWS backup, and then select item backup plan and operation create. You can also view the AMS documentation to find out more about AWS Backup change types. You can access the documentation from the AMS console. Go to Documentation and click on User Guide and go to the Continuity Management page. So now you know how to work with AWS Backup in an AMS account. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. Mm -hmm.